Good morning and welcome to Cali Towing. My name is Josh and I'm gonna take you on a ride along. So uh, I'm on the way to work. Let's clock in. probably gonna get hit in the next hour or so um, sometimes I wait for like two three hours before I get a call but really depends so let's see what goes on all right look so now we are on the way to go uh, pick up this Chevy Suburban right now it's about it's nine o'clock I've been up since five o'clock my shift started five six seven eight nine so about four hours of downtime so yeah, not bad. Four hours of downtime started at five. It's nine o'clock now, just getting my first call. So we're gonna go ahead and head to this Chevy Suburban and I think it's going to a tire shop or uh, some kind of automotive shop. I think it's uh, probably gonna need a tire, if not um, car work. So let's check it out, it's about 25 minutes away. Let's head to it. One thing that I do love about this truck specifically is the way it feels. Like it doesn't feel too wobbly, shaky or anything. It feels like it's uh, it's been maintenanced, and um, you know I hope I get to get something like this all the time. And you'd be surprised at my yard. You don't always get the same vehicle. Someone's taking yours home. Someone hides the key. So I just feel real good. I like it. It's not too dirty in here like it is with the other trucks. No joke. This truck hauls ass. I've been in a truck where they sent me out here in Highland. And literally like I was going almost 10 miles per hour up a really like steep street. Like if I was going so slow in the truck, I wasn't even loading anything either. There was nothing on my back. I was going so slow, I literally thought I was about to roll back. But it just kept climbing at a very slow speed. And I look back and all I see is just a bunch of cars right behind me. Like, if you guys just don't get around me. But anyways, we're almost there. Uh, according to my... Oh, well, um, seatbelt stuck. According to my ETA, I'm eight minutes away. So, let's see when we get there. Hopefully it's not too difficult. So I'm guessing it is this Chevy Suburban right here. How you doing? It's this one right here, right? Okay. Guess you don't talk much. All right, let's see what the deal is. How you doing? It doesn't drive, huh? What's wrong with it? Okay. And we're taking it to a shop? Nobody has to be there for you to drop it, right? No. Okay. Do you have to, you have to go? I have to go, Okay, yeah. for sure. They're expecting it right now, huh? Yes, and okay. just tell them it's for Sean Miller. Okay. okay. Is there someone uh, that I need to drop it off to specifically or no? No. Okay, Sean Miller? Got yeah. it. All right. You're welcome. that it was gonna fit everything and it only fits my straps and my ratchets unfortunately it's all 
good. I'm gonna work with it. Now, I'm gonna move this a little bit. Let's see how that does. See the curb right here? I don't wanna hit that. Eh, good enough. Let's move. Stretch this winch out. Here goes the workout for the day. So cute. Uh, up there, like so. Right under. There. Like so. Put this little bad boy in neutral. Is it dead? Must be dead. Hopefully no issues. Let's put down the emergency brake. And it's dead completely. So. Can't even see if it's in neutral or not. Only way to find out. It says park. Neutral. I gotta be careful doing this. So nobody operating it but me. hard on this thing. Huh. Uh. Sheesh. It's gonna be a lot of work. Turn it back this way. Uh. Yep. It's straight. A lot of going back and forth with this. Right, you gotta make sure it's straight. bad boy put the e-brake make sure that's on there take oh shit, put it in park take the ski out ba bam start tying them down good to go baby it's a little crooked but it's okay Here for me is I loop them through the rims. Now, I know you guys are probably like, well, you guys are you're gonna have to put a rag if it's like really nice rims. Well, no shit. Um, but the majority of the time, these rims are not even like that. So they're all stock rims. Like 
better safe than what? Sorry. away 13 miles oh. uh, I'm dropping off a Chevy Suburban here oh yes for Sean Miller yeah. I have it out there, there on that side out on that side yeah. oh there's fine uh, just uh, park it anywhere yeah just park it anywhere okay oh. um, where do you want it Drop it so it's facing this way by the wall, but not blocking that bay. So not blocking that bay. So yeah. you want it basically up against the wall? Well, I mean, give me some room to get in. I mean, from the concrete over, like just so somebody can still go by the outside. Yeah, but, but facing point, this way. Yeah, if it, then I can just come around the corner, work on it, tools, whatever I need. Okay. Can you do that? Um, Probably just back up right here and let it go. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I can push it around. See. I can push it around a little okay. more with the forklift. Okay, for yeah, sure. Yeah, you back up right here, just as long as it's not blocking that door. Okay, all right. Cool? Got you. Appreciate you. And then I'll come get key and stuff before you're done, right? All right. All right, hopefully, now I got to do some maneuvers with this thing and try to parallel park it against the wall.
That's it, brother. Oh, I appreciate Good to go. you. Thanks for the effort. All right, take care. What color? Okay. All right. Picking up an Audi. Wow. Small area. Damn, I gotta see how I'm gonna back this thing up. Over. Okay, how you doing, boss? How you doing, my man? Yo, what's going on with it? What happened? Oh shit. Okay, it still turns okay though, right? Just to make sure, cause yeah. I gotta back it up on there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, cool, cool. Where's it going? To a uh, shop? On Third Street. Is it a house or a shop? No, shop. A shop? Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, it's real close to the edge. Uh, yeah, it's real close to the edge. I gotta straighten it out somehow. So we got. I'm gonna have to put it back down. See? Yeah. So I'm gonna have to turn it down, and I'm gonna have to straighten it out. So I'll let me put it back down. Camera died in in the middle of finishing up the load for this Audi. I got it up there. I didn't realize that the camera died. So if you guys missed anything, my bad. Um, but I'm gonna have to cut one of the straps. I mean, I'm, I'm going to try not to, but I may have to cut one of the straps because it's too close. The ratchet is too close to the tire for me to crank it out. So let's see how that goes. Well, I didn't have to cut my strap. As you can see, all the straps are done. So now all I got to do now is just lower this bad boy. Straighten it out. This is what I do. Not everybody does this, but I like to put it in park, take off my winch and I roll it down. Because what happens when you don't do that is that your winch gets stuck underneath the bumper and you might scratch something or whatsoever. I know you're probably thinking it's already damaged. Forget about it being scratched. But you know what? Not me, sir. Let's take those down. No. Is that? And then you roll it the rest of the way. Is that? Not hard. Watch. Wee!
right, guys. You're all set, man. And just like that, that was it. Wasn't much of a challenge. Wasn't much that I was expecting, but it is what it is. We're gonna go ahead and uh, bother one of my one of my favorite coworkers here that I've been working with for a while, quite a while. He's a battery service uh, driver, but you know, me and him used to park next to each other when I was battery service, but now I'm a tow truck driver. Senorito! I'm in a better truck today. Yeah, it sounds better. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> GoPro? Yeah, dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Tony. It's Tony, everybody. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I'm out of here in about 20 minutes. You got busy today? 10 minutes. I ran two calls in like, well, I didn't get my first call till 9 in the morning. So I get here at five and then I will sleep at home and then Elise called me and I was like, hey, I sent you a call. I only ran two calls since then. Yeah, at least at least wanted me to go help them out in the San I was like. Alright, so it is currently 105 p.m. Started my shift at 5. As you've seen in the video this morning, I didn't really get my first call until 9 o'clock. So it's like a good four hours of downtime this morning. Um, and from 9 o'clock to 12.30, I believe my last drop-off was. Um, we only ran like two calls, two drop-offs. So uh, two vehicles in a span of almost nine hours. Uh, I don't take lunches, so you know I just work that extra hour, if anything. Uh, lunch to me is just useless because it's like... I don't know, in the tow industry, you get a lot of downtime. So really, every every downtime is a break or lunch, however you want to see it. Um, but yeah, it's 1 o'clock now. Uh, I got to get by the yard by 145 to go home. And I'm off at 2 o'clock. And tomorrow, we're going to go ahead and do this again. So I hope you guys enjoy these videos. Um, you know, I, I'm, I'm going to start doing these more for you guys. And uh, I'm a new channel, so... You guys can subscribe, like, comment, um, leave a comment if you're a tow truck driver. Um, if you have any experience, let me know your experience down below. Let me know some stories. Let me know what you guys go through if you're a tow truck driver. Or even if you're not a tow truck driver and you've had um, experience with someone who was a tow truck driver, like you had your car towed or something like that, let me know. So, yeah, uh, we got about 40 minutes left and um, let's just chill. So, just a little background on me. I've been with AAA for about six years. I started off as battery service, so I wasn't even doing towing. It was all right, it was pretty steady. Um, the commission was great. However, there was a lot of challenges doing battery service with AAA, because like you would deal with different issues, like as far as um, you know, trying to get a battery out of a certain vehicle, trying to install a battery in a certain vehicle, shortages, changing batteries in the rain, um, changing batteries in a difficult vehicle in the rain, which you're just standing there trying to hook up this battery in a tight spot. It's like pouring rain on you. Then you get back in your vehicle and you're just soaking wet. Then you have to head to a tire change in the rain and you have to crank the tire down. There's so much. You guys get what I mean, right? Like it's just... With battery service, I would say on average, you're doing like eight to 20 calls a day, but it also varies because some people like to call off. And then when people call off and it's just me, it's just, it's very stressful. And to be honest, I just got into towing like three weeks ago. So I'm, I'm fairly new to towing. So what I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna try to um, upload on here consistently at least four or five times a week so you guys can see what i do at work and stuff like that and this is strictly just a tow channel so if you guys are all tow truck drivers out there um if we could relate go ahead and hit like comment and subscribe uh, but yeah i used to be battery service and i actually prefer this more because on average for towing at least from what i've been noticing the last three weeks i average um anywhere from two to four calls 
I think my first day out, I did like four or five calls, but today is like two calls. Um, I used to work 12 hour shifts and then I had to switch over to um, five to two because they won't give me 12 hours because the hours that I'm looking for was 11 o'clock at night to 11 in the morning. That's gonna give me my 12 hour shift. So I'm gonna get that overtime. Um, but unfortunately, after I got hired back on, and you're probably like, what do you mean hired back on? Like you were working for six years, weren't you? Yes, I was working for six years. And then I quit to become a bus driver in the city of Riverside. And then I was in class for about two, three weeks. And then I decided, hey, it's not gonna work for me. The pay wasn't worth it for the amount of hours that I'll be doing as a bus driver. Now you're like, oh, bus drivers get paid a lot. Yeah, they do, but again, I need a certain schedule because I have to alternate watching my son at home. So I get guaranteed five hours minimum as a bus driver, but that five hour minimum is all it is it is all for me that day, and that's only like a hundred a hundred dollars or so, and it's trash. So I came back here and I asked for eleven eleven at night as BSP, and they said, "Well, we don't have battery service late at night." which I kind of call bullshit because they've had battery service overnight when I was there. And for some reason now they don't have battery service overnight. So I said, fuck it, throw me in a tow truck because they said, well, we have 11 o'clock at night to 11 in the morning, but it's only for towing. I said, fuck it, train me in towing. And guess what? They trained me in towing. And as soon as I got hired on, they told me we can't give you 11, 11, but you could do five to two. The reason why I came back was to do my 12 hour overtime shifts. And I'm back stuck with nine hours and eight, which is totally trash. But he said, but you can work an extra day to get that overtime. And I'm like, I shouldn't have to work an extra day. <laughs> but anyways, that's my story, y'all. Um, we got about 20 minutes left. So I'm just going to end the video right here. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, I'm, I'm back at it again tomorrow on Sundays. I actually work at night, so we'll get some nighttime visuals, but hopefully my GoPro will be okay with picking that up because this GoPro is not that great at nighttime shots. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Please like, comment, subscribe, and uh, yeah, I'll see you on the next ride along. For now, we clocking out. Peace.